Okay, now it's finally time to start adjusting our lighting so we can optimize our e-glass to get the best image. First, before we need to do that, we need to get some ink on the glass so we can start adjusting those settings to see what the ink is going to look like at the end. All right, it's finally time to start adjusting our lighting now that we have our pens activated. So the first step is with that activated pen, go ahead and put some ink on the glass. So immediately you'll notice that the ink uh, isn't glowing. So what we're gonna need to do is turn on the glass lights. So go down to your instructor panel and find the glass lights knob and turn that up to maximum. Now what you'll notice is the ink is starting to glow and it might not appear uh, very well against a brighter backdrop. So if you're in a brighter room, what you're going to need to remember is you need to turn the exposure down. So go back to your control panel and find the exposure down button and go ahead and press and hold that until the ink is glowing nice and bright against your background. Uh, this is especially useful if you have a lot of items in your background, if your background is really busy and you want to just cancel it out. The best practice is to lower the exposure so that the ink is visible on the background. See, I'm going to raise the exposure back up, back to where we started, and you'll see that the ink is kind of hard to see as the exposure gets brighter and now we can't even see the ink. So go ahead and Remember that exposure down button. That button is going to be your best friend. But one thing you'll notice is as the exposure is getting darker and darker, the background is getting darker and darker, but your face is getting darker and darker, and it's really hard to see your face. And so that's why the next step after lowering your exposure is turning the instructor lights on. So go ahead and go back to the control panel right in front of you and find the instructor lights knob and gently start to turn that on until when you look at your laptop screen, it's bright enough to where your face is illuminated, the text is illuminated, and the background is darkened. The whole idea is you want to darken the background so that the text stands out very brightly when you put the ink on the board and you don't want to make it too dark. So if it is too dark, you can compensate for that by turning the instructor lights up. So you can mess around with different settings, but the best practice is to turn the exposure down and the instructor lights up. Remember that formula. And sometimes you need to go back and forth. Sometimes the exposure, you can turn it down even lower and turn your instructor lights even brighter. Or if the instructor lights are just too bright, you can turn those down and start to raise your exposure until you find that happy medium spot where the ink glows against the background, you can see my face, and the background is nice and dark. So it's kind of those three different pieces playing together. But just remember, exposure down, lights up lights up, exposure down. See, if the exposure is too bright and your lights are too bright, it's gonna start to appear very blown out. You see on my forehead here, it's just, it's too bright, it doesn't look good. So go ahead and if your instructor lights are too bright and your exposure is too bright, you need to lower one of those. The best one to lower is usually the exposure until everything looks really good and you can see the ink against the background. By the way, remember earlier when we were talking about the background and I mentioned a dark background? Well, this is where it really comes into play. If you have a dark background and you put it behind the glass and lower the exposure and turn your glass lights on, you're gonna get a very cool dramatic effect. To where the ink is really glowing against this dark background and you can see my face and it has this just really cool look. So you can order a, a dark background online, just a photography backdrop of some sort, and you can even use thumbtacks to pin it up onto your wall. I got a little fancy and I installed this nice track system, so you can also invest in that if you want to, or you can even paint your wall dark. 
Uh, but the dark background isn't necessary, but it looks pretty sweet if you could pull it off. One final point I wanted to make is that you don't have to use neon markers and you don't have to try and darken your background. If you wanted to, you could go the opposite direction and make your background super bright so that you can use regular dark dry erase markers that don't have the neon in them. Of course, you're not gonna get the neon glow, but what you'll wanna do is brighten the exposure by raising the exposure and turn your instructor lights down. And you're, the idea is you wanna get the exposure as bright as possible and you're also lowering your instructor lights at the same time and finding that happy medium. And you're gonna go ahead and write with a regular dry erase marker. Uh, you want to make the background as bright as possible. This is counter to what you'd wanna do if you were using neon markers. But if you're going for just the regular marker look, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and raise the exposure a little bit and turn your instructor lights down because if the exposure is raised and your instructor lights are raised, it's gonna look like this. This doesn't look very good. So keep those instructor lights down and raise that exposure up. I'm gonna show you what it looks like if your exposure isn't um, raised. Let's go ahead and lower it as if we were using neon markers. And what you're gonna to start to notice is that ink is harder and harder to read as the exposure is raised, is lowered uh, darker and darker. It just disappears, but of course the neon marker will appear a little more brighter. It will glow a little bit better. And so again, with the regular dark markers, the idea is bright background. If you, if you have a dark background, this text is not gonna show up against the dark background. Only the glowing text will.